Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, Sarah and I, who are American but we live in London, are going to be trying some American and British snacks. We have a loose structure. <laughs> also, before anyone comments that we forgot something, um, because I feel like people might We be, know. Yeah, <laughs> like, we only have so much room in our stomachs. And also, some of this I got from like lists online of things that are like typical British snacks, so. Okay, disclaimers out of the way, let's get started. Yes, let's. Okay, we're gonna start with the goldfish. You wanna tell the story of how we got the American foods? Oh yeah, my um, my sister and my mom picked this out, so thanks Shout guys. Out. Thanks Kate, thanks mom. Um, this is probably what I'm most excited about, but they're expired. They are expired. <laughs> are you a flavor, I'm a flavor blasted goldfish Oh, the gal. flavor blasted, especially the one with like the, the pretzels in it too. I yeah. took a whole handful. Oh, well. Forgetting that like we need to wash Cheers. over these. Cheers. <laughs> They don't taste expired. No, they still taste That's great. something that I kind of prefer about American food, like not health-wise, but just convenience-wise. Things don't expire as quickly as they do here. Great, 10 out of 10. Also, I feel like this is a good like um, bar to set Yeah. for like the savory snacks. Next, we're gonna do the savory British snacks. I got some Watsits and some Monster Munch. Well, she's a vegetarian, so we're not, do you wanna try it? Yeah, I think it's okay. like, there's no real meat. It's yeah. just a, Beef flavor. Also, the British people love to flavor things as meat. Like they have prawn crack, like prawn yeah. flavored things, and that's yeah, not for I, me. I know, like there's the there's like roast chicken, mm -hmm. prawn, and like smoky bacon crisps as well, and they're also all vegetarian. It's not for me. Well, now that we've so. been talking about the meat flavors, should we just try this? First? Yeah, let's turn it up. They don't smell horribly beefy. Okay, close up. A little fun, fun moment. They're like little claws. Mm. It's kind of strongly flavored. I just really put the whole piece in one go. You oh. did it so daintily. Well, <laughs> I know there's a big number for this. I don't like it. I li They're really like light and airy. It's almost like like a pirate's booty sort of like like airiness. What's pirate's booty? You know, like the American pirate's booty? No. Oh my god. Oh, another thing. She's from New York and I'm from Kentucky. So we have like regional differences too. They're, they're like like that except like white cheddar flavored. Mm. But, like really airy. Like you can almost like bite through it. It's growing on me as I eat it, but I don't... It's not something I'd be like... Ooh. I, I like, like it. I want to eat it. <laughs> I would eat it. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to move to the fact that we have new pans. Now for the lots of... I think these are very similar to like the puffy Cheetos. I feel like cheese, no, Cheetos are better, but these will do. I would eat a whole bag. Oh, yeah. Are you a cruncher or a melter? Oh, I think the melting thing's gross. Me too. No offense if you are a melter, but. Now that we've had some salty things, we're gonna try Ribena. I don't know it. Do you know much about Ribena that you can share with the class? They love black currants here, mm. which I feel like we don't really have in the States, but it's some sort of like, Berry-esque sort of thing. We also have these Wimbledon glasses courtesy of Sarah. My initial thought is it's probably gonna taste like cough syrup. Yeah, I mean it looks like grape juice and I'm gonna be really disappointed when it doesn't taste like grape juice. Cheers! Cheers. Oh, it has a lighter flavor than I thought. It's good. Yeah. Really sweet. It does taste grapey, not are grapes and black currants similar? Mm, I don't really honestly know. I've never seen a black currant in a while. I really would not tell you. Well, they look like grapes to me. But so I would say compared to like a U.S. soft drink or like sort of like juicy thing, it's definitely way less like flavorful. Mm -hmm. Like it's less sugary, less extreme. I don't know if that's the right sort of thing but you know what i'm saying yeah it's still really sweet though but it doesn't have it tastes less artificial it tastes less, less artificial and like there's less sugar yeah okay we're gonna have two different kinds of toast one british and one american um we have some skippy peanut butter courtesy of my mother who was worried about me with the lack of peanut butter options here <laughs> and then we have a little thing of marmite in the shape of a heart did you steal this from somewhere? No. Mm. <laughs> not steal. That's not the right word. It was like a like um like a hotel buffet bar. Yeah. Okay, yeah. 
You didn't steal it. Oh, I got it for this video because I thought it'd be pointless to buy a whole jar knowing that we're probably not going to like it. Yeah, I think it's a divisive thing. I don't even know if every, I mean, this can be said for any food, but I don't know if all the British people like Marmite. Yeah. We buttered the slices that we were going to put Marmite on it because every British person that I've like heard talk about Marmite, they're always like, when people try it, they just take a spoonful and I would never do that. That's gross. Mm -hmm. But when you put it on buttered toast, it's all right. Okay. So we do... Let's do the American one first since we just had some more British things. Okay, so we're gonna put some Skippy peanut butter on some toast. Listen, up until this year, I didn't know I liked Skippy peanut butter. I've always been a Jif gal, but it's pretty good. I've always been Skippy. I wanna like test regionally. Is it like a reasonable yeah, regional well, thing? Yeah, well, I feel like when you told me you were a Skippy girl, I was like flabbergasted. It's great. But it's great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, peanut butter toast. Delicious as always. It was great. Um, nine out of ten. I'm gonna go ten out of ten because I mm. love skipping. I've heard that you are only supposed to put the smallest amount of marmite on your toast. Is that right? Yeah, I think it's like a accoutrement to the butter, sort of keep it very. I'm gonna go really light on yours too because yeah. I feel like you know there's some like in <laughs> the, the holes the of crevice. the bread that I'm like <laughs> digging out. Because I feel like this is not going to be Emily's cup of tea. Okay, here we go. Mm. Cheers. I weirdly really like it. I like it. I'm trying, I'm going to think of what I can describe the flavor as. It kind of tastes like soy sauce. <laughs> yeah, no, it <laughs> does. Crazy. It's like salty, but it's got this sort of like interesting savory profile. Umami. 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 <laughs> I'm really like an eight. Yeah, I was gonna say like 7.5. I like it. I do like it. Like it's something that like we maybe should buy in a jar. Mm -hmm. It's a good like if you need something salty. Yeah. It's a really good option. Okay, we're gonna go for hot dogs. Oh, these are open. Oh no. I just got them from Sainsbury's earlier. Do you feel safe? I don't know. I feel like, yeah, probably. We can eat it from this end. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's take one from that end. Okay. I don't know the difference between digestive and hobnobs. I love digestive, but I've never had hobnobs, so. They seem more like oat biscuit instead yeah, yeah, yeah. of just regular biscuit. I was gonna say, I think that it's more like an Odie biscuit. It's the same so they're, brand. That's what it says, the Odie one. Odie knobbly. Hobnobs are knobbly biscuits. That's what it says. That is the most British word. No, knobbly. Knobbly biscuits. <laughs> All right, please don't put that in. <laughs> Wait, you'll love this. By appointment of Her Majesty, the Queen Biscuit Manufacturers, United Biscuits Limited. Wow. Okay, let's try it. Okay, I know exactly what this tastes like. You know those Nature Valley bars that cr crumble mm. like so much? Yeah. It tastes like that with chocolate on it. Oh my God, she's nailed it. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, you need to try Jaffa cakes. I hate orange and chocolate together, so I have had them and I hate them. I pretty regularly eat Jaffa cakes. If you're into like citrus, cakey, citrus chocolate, I think they're good. Okay, so let's go for the Pop Tarts now. Are you ready for mm, it? Yes. What flavor did you get? Um, I got the cinnamon sugary, or no, brown sugar. That's what it is. Those are good. Cause those are the ones that we got at home. Do you're toasted usually or no? Yeah, do you want to toast Should we toast it? Yeah, we're going to toast it. All right, we're back with our toasted um, Pop-Tart. Yes. Brown sugar. Uh, it smells that. amazing. It smells like childhood. It does. Mm. Mm, it's really good. 10 out of 10. Oh. Mm -hmm. Thank you to Sarah's family for providing this from America for us. The most similar thing from the British food that we have is the Tara Bakewell tarts, but... There's no way it's gonna be as good as Pop Tart. I know, I don't like cherry, so I've, that's why I've never tried those. Mm -hmm. So the bar's really low for me, but we'll yeah. see. This was on one of the lists that I found of like typical British snacks. So thought we'd give it a try. They <laughs> come in these little metal tins. They're quite cute. They're like, oh, oh, they do just pop right out. <laughs> I really kind of gave it a shake because I didn't think it was gonna come out that easily. Can you see it? I don't know. Okay, it's a short crust pastry tart filled with plum and raspberry. Mm. Uh oh, I'm gonna eat it anyway. I'm uh, I'm intolerant to luck too. I can't talk. I'm intolerant to raspberries, but I'm gonna 
sacrifice. We have Benadryl, the American okay. kind. We're ready. <laughs> okay, with plum and raspberry jam and almond flavored sponge topped with a fondant icing and a half glazed, half a glazed sherry. That's honestly- It actually sounds good. I know, that's really not what I thought this was. I just thought it was like cherry flavored, anyhow. Yeah. It's a little dry. I like the flavor. Yeah, I honestly, <laughs> I actually kind of like it. It kind of tastes like a, you know, like tricolor rainbow cookies. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. They're like Italian. Yeah. Oh. It's like that, like, cookie it's like an almond shortbread type, right? No. No. Okay. Oh Just my keep God. talking. You gotta get one of these too. Maybe <laughs> it's a New England thing as well. They're so good. Tricolor cookies. It tastes like that with like a hunk of like icing on top mm -hmm. instead of chocolate. It definitely has exceeded my expectations, I'll say that. Mm, for sure. Okay, I'm gonna do this first. Or yeah. this first I actually got the nerds today in the American section at Sainsbury's, which I'll insert a clip of. I think it's really funny. They have like Twinkies and- Hot dogs in a jar? Yeah, which is so silly. But they also had like root beer, Lucky Charms. Did you eat a lot of nerds growing up? No. I did. And I have to say, the pink nerds are better than the purple nerds. Do you want a mix? I'll do a mix. I'll get the full experience. It's good. Mmm. I love nerds. I do like them. Because they're like sour. I like sour things. Yeah. They have like a special... Oh! On the actual package is the US nutrition label, but then they had to put the sticker over there to meet the like uk requirements for the labels i think i like the purple ones more they taste like sour kool-aid we are a perfect pair to we eat nerds are. together so i went to m s and got some colin the caterpillar gummies and some percy pigs um colin and percy are like staple characters for m s and for my birthday Sarah and Rachel, my other flatmate, got me a Colin Caterpillar cake, which I think is like a rite of passage for living in England. It's like a worm, but it has like a little like a heart in the middle. Did oh, you see yeah, that? Yeah, I didn't notice what it was, but yeah, that's so cute. Oh no, it's cherries. Like this oh, is cherry oh, scent. Oh, I was looking at it upside down. Oh, that's funny. It has a little face. It looks like boobs. <laughs> it's like kind of sticky. I don't like it. So thick. Hard to chew. Yeah. I don't know. If you're into these sort of things, then you might like it. It's like just so hard. I am into gummies and I'd give it probably a four. There's definitely better. Now for the Swedish fish. We just went really hard on the fact that those are like hard and chewy and these yeah. are also hard and chewy, but but I know I'm gonna like these. I know. Well these like these say soft and chewy. Oh, they're on the packet, they're, so, they're not hard, which I would actually agree with. I feel like in in the states, Swedish fish are kind of oh yeah okay. So these have kind of like a crust, and then they're like chewy, like soft mm. on the inside. Mm -hmm. I feel like these are divisive even among Americans. Like I love them. Yeah, I personally like they're actually they're the only sort of gummy sweets that I've ever really liked. Mm. I'm looking for what flavor they are because I actually have no idea. So the three flavor profiles that there are is white mineral oil, red 40, and granola wax. Now that is American. Mm -hmm. Apparently it's a common question. Lingonberry. Lingonberry is a very popular berry in Scandinavia, which is probably why it's called, why it's called Swedish fish. Okay, next we're gonna do the Percy pig. I think these will go over probably better than the Colin. Here's Percy. It's kind of hard to chew too. Yeah, but it's less sticky, I feel like. Mm -hmm. Like it kind of doesn't like stick to your molars. Yeah. I like the flavor better. Like this one has a pretty good flavor. Mm -hmm. Was it, is this supposed to be strawberry? Yeah. <laughs> but it does say no nasty artificial colors or flavors. So we've got elderberry, red grape, oh it's grape, mandarin, apple. So not strawberry all at all. Okay, next we have a chocolate showdown. So from the States, we have a Milky Way. And here we have a celebrations package, which has like a variety. So we have Snickers, Twix, Mars bars, Maltesers, Milky Way, which is actually different than this Milky Way. It's supposed to be, what'd you say, like a... 
Yeah, so I think like the British Milky Way is like a American Three Musketeers, mm -hmm. like it just has a nugget in it. But then a Mars bar has like nugget and caramel. So I think a Mars bar is yeah. gonna be like an American Milky we'll Way. We'll do those two back to back. <laughs> There's only one Twix. Oh. Are Milky Ways your favorite American candy bar? Um, they're probably up there. They are a family favorite though. My mm -hmm. grandma like survives off of probably like 25% of her diet coming from Milky Ways. All right. This one's for you, Grams. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just not a Milky Way person. Like, no? They're, it's fine. So now, Mars Bar. Mars Bar? I like this better. I don't know if it's just because it's smaller and the proportions are like better to my liking. I would agree that smaller is probably better. Mm -hmm. I feel like the chocolate tastes different. Like it tastes more British chocolate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> British chocolate is better. I feel like we're gonna be sick after we try all of these. You wanna start splitting them? Mm hmm. All right, now we're on to the Milky Way. Ooh. Actually, I think it looks different than a Three Musketeer. Yeah. Like, the nougat is way more white. Yeah, it's definitely like a creamier color. Mm. That's yummy. The nougat is less like chocolatey flavored than a, a Milky Way, I think. It's also like, I think it's softer. Like mm. it's it's not sort of like thick. It's it's a uh, creamier, I guess. Do you want to do bounties because we're not really looking for yeah. them? Get them out of the way a little bit. I don't really like shardy coconut. It has nothing to do with the fact that it's British. It's just that it's coconut. I love the flavor of coconut. I just don't love the texture of desiccated coconut. <laughs> That's what it's called. Is it? Yeah. Ew. These are kind of similar, I think, to like Whoppers. Mm. Yeah, like your basic sort of malt ball malt teaser. Yeah, I okay. think. No, see, this is what I thought oh. it was gonna be. Oh, it's like it's like little specks of it. So, when you buy like a bag of malt teasers, they're like malt balls, but they have, which I actually really like these, a lot of the sort of like malt teaser chocolate bars that you see or something, it's some sort of like creamier chocolate with like itty itty bitty malt balls in there. Twix are maybe my favorite candy bar. I would, they're one of the better ones. Mm -hmm. I would have to agree with There's that. There's only one. 10 out of 10. I love Twix. It's lovely. Snickers are my, are tied in first for me with Twix. With Twix. Yeah. Absolutely, these might be my favorite. 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10. Oh, good. We're on to the Galaxy, which is one of the more popular brands and this is just chocolate. like plain milk chocolate right yeah this one do you want to do the plain milk chocolate first or the caramel filled one i uh, want to plain the caramel okay Thanks. and on a high note <laughs> that looks nice <laughs> does it smell different <laughs> i don't know better than hershey's in my mm. humble opinion we can get through this last one last one <laughs> and then we pick our favorite which is gonna be hard because some of them are gone well, i actually know what my favorite one is Oh my god, caramel. It's literally just like kind of a thin layer of chocolate and then just like yeah, a lot like of caramel lots inside. Of caramel. Mm, that's really nice. I prefer like the buttons because, wait, is that the same company? No. No, it's covered. Well, I like the buttons because it's like more of an even ratio between the chocolate and the. And maybe yeah. in like regular sized bars, it's like that. No, where was no, bars like They're this. still like that? No. It's a lot of caramel. It is a lot of caramel. And it's not like, it's, Thin caramel. Yeah. It's like it's not really good, but yeah, it's which of the celebrations was your favorite? I gotta stick with Snickers. I really like the Maltesers. They were good. Okay, we're gonna do our top categories. Okay, what was the most surprising thing to you? Um maybe the bagel tart. Mm. The cherry bagel, because I was like confident. Like I've we've lived here for ages. I've never tried one because I was confident that I just wasn't going to like it. I, I felt... Yeah, go ahead. I actually liked it. <laughs> yeah, I felt that way about Marmite. I felt so surprised that I liked it because yeah. I never would have tried it because I was like, it gets a bad rap. British favorite for me, if I was going to have to eat like a lot of something, it would be the What's It's, I think. Mm -hmm. I just, I like the Monster Munch. Right now, I'm really just thinking like, what do I want to go back for? And it's the What's It's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to go back for the goldfish. Yeah. Do we have least favorites? Least favorite? The Collins, right? Oh, yeah, the, the Colin the Cow Pit. 
<laughs> oh yeah, the, oh yeah, the call on the caterpillar. <laughs> call on the caterpillar. I really did not care for mm -hmm. those. I don't care for gummies in general, so I feel like I. Yeah, I also that, didn't love the Monster Munch, but I do feel like I was a little harsh on it. It's not that bad. <sighs> yeah, I know. Like when we were like part the way through filming, you were like, I feel like I should have maybe given them a higher score. They were actually alright. <laughs> They're fine. I didn't. I don't think I didn't like anything. I don't. Like, I haven't learned anything, other than the flavor of Swedish fish. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I haven't come away with like British food is better or American food is better. I think it's all pretty good. Okay, thank you guys for watching. This was really fun. Let us know your favorite British and American snacks down below. Thanks, Sarah and Sarah's family for providing the American foods for us. Happy to be here. And let us know if you think there's anything that we should try in the future. Yeah. I think, did we do it? Yeah, no, I'm great. Okay, high five. Teamwork. <laughs>